Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Thursday, November 17th. Uh, another nice green day today, plus $802 in the profit. Uh, so let's break these down. We did do a pairs trade in gold and silver, took a couple hundred dollar loss in that one. Uh, did a, a, a runner in the Dow, took a little loss there. Uh, in Amazon, had two different trades there, plus 350. Both of those were mighty 90 trades. Uh, in Target, uh, excuse me, in BABA, that was a runner for 115. In DKNG, that was a runner, minus 228. In Roku, caught a nice runner for 515. In Target, it was a nice mighty 90 for 554. So my biggest winner, Target, biggest loser was uh, win. Uh, or excuse me, uh, DKNG was my biggest loser. Uh, Target, nice, uh, nice winner. And then win, uh, minus 220. Uh, one of those was a, a mighty 90 and one was a runner. So both those small losses uh, took a $55 loss on the mighty 90 trade and minus 165 on the on the runner. Let's take a look at these and break those down. Starting with uh, starting with the Dow. So this is this was a trade that I kind of regret taking, but of course it would have worked out. I probably would not have thought that way. So. Uh, that's trading, right? So the Dow was staying weak all day, staying below yesterday's low. And when it started chopping around down here, uh, I took a short position uh, about right here. Uh, when it flushed up and kind of broke broke above these levels here, broke above this consolidation area, I just I just bailed, kind of done for the day. It was about 12.30, which is longer than I wanted to be watching the screens anyway. So just cut that out, a small loss. Uh, Amazon, let's take a look at Amazon. We had two nice trades in Amazon. Uh, to start with, we had this initial initial flush down, had this pop in volume, got long right here, and then caught that bounce up in Amazon, and then uh, took another one in the opposite direction after Amazon made this big push up, had this volume spike, kind of extended a little bit higher, got short right here, and caught this little down move there for a nice winner. So plus 350 on Amazon. Uh, Alibaba. So this is one I took a little bit later in the day. So after uh, it started consolidating above yesterday's high, got long right here and just caught a little piece of that up move there in BABA. DKNG, this one did not work out for us. Uh, let's see, DKNG, where are you at? Yeah, here we go. So uh, made this initial push up, oops, made this initial push up and was consolidating for quite a while above this pivot. I was looking for a continuation higher. So we got long about right here. Did not happen, kind of flushed this down, but we cut our losses pretty quick for just a small loss in DKNG. Roku was a beautiful trade. Uh, we were in it for quite a while though. It started consolidating here after this initial push higher and we got uh, we got long in this area. Sat through quite a bit of consolidation and then finally, boom, shot up. Uh, and I got, I got out of my last contract right here. I was gonna hold up to this pivot, but you know, it just uh, started to look like it was fizzling out, had a big volume spike, looked like it was exhausted. So I just got out, which was a good move from a standpoint of it sat there and consolidated for another hour or so. Now it did eventually get there, but I didn't, uh, I didn't want to sit there and babysit it. So I just got out, booked a nice $515 profit. Target, another nice profit of 554. Uh, so Target, I had made this big push up and then started consolidating uh, above this this pivot. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Made this big push up, made this pullback, got a mighty 90 signal right here. So we got long, uh, pushed up. I got out of 90% of my trade after the second green bar. And, and then when it pulled back, I got in again with some and then just kind of held it through all this and finally got out of my last piece as it rode up to that pivot. So nice trade there in Target. I was, I was thinking it may bust through there, but Good thing I got out there because it did just end up kind of rolling over from there. And then lastly in win. So I had two trades here in win. One was a mighty 90. Had this big push up. I was looking for a little bit of a retracement. Just started to chop sideways. So we got out for a little, little worse than a scratch, minus 55 bucks. And then since it was consolidating above yesterday's high, we looked at this as a potential opportunity for an extension, another run higher, but it just flushed down. So just cut our losses pretty quick there. So uh, all in all, good day, plus 8.02. Uh, we are not streaming live in the room tomorrow on Friday. We'll be back Monday and Tuesday and then off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for Thanksgiving. So look forward to seeing you in the room Monday. If you guys have any questions, let me know.